welcome back to Wild and Free Art. Today I'm going to show you how I made my very own little travel kit out of a napkin and some cereal liners and some plastic Ziploc bags. Let's get started. The supplies that you need to make the travel kit are probably ones that you already have. All you need is a napkin and uh, some cereal liners, a couple Ziploc bags, an iron, uh, some greaseproof paper, elastic, and some sort of closure. Um, so what I did first was I took a napkin. Um, I think I used two plies of the napkin just to give it a bit more strength. And I ironed it between two sheets of cereal liner. Um, I have forgotten to video the first piece of that. Um, but basically it's really simple. You just take your napkin, you stick it in between, and you put some greaseproof paper on top, and then you just iron it so that you seal it through. And this makes it quite sturdy and strong and waterproof. So here, after I have ironed everything, I'm just testing the size that I want my kit to be because I want to have a little pocket where I can put papers or I can put my journal in and it needs to be high enough to accommodate all my pencils, pens, scissors, all that kind of stuff. So here I am just testing out the different sizes of the things that I want to put in and um, thinking about how I am going to set this up. And here's where I had the idea of using an old Ziploc type bag to use as a partition between the two parts of the um, kit. So in order to um, make it, you know, fit with the rest of the kit design and to cover up some holes that I had in the plastic bag because it was definitely well used and this is recycling to the max. Um, I had used this bag for keeping my embroidery floss in until I used a new system and I was going to throw it out because it was full of holes but it just fit perfectly in the um, in the travel kit that I'm planning to make and the zip part still works. So the first step I decided to do was to again separate the cover of my napkin, the same set that I used. I got these at Ikea and then I decided that because the bag was plastic ironing it together was probably not the best idea. So I decided to use glue instead. So I put a piece of paper inside um, because obviously um, to stop the two sides from sticking together and then I used a PVA glue and water mixture to brush on um, top and underneath the napkin and give it some strength and durability. I did find that I had to use um, about two layers of napkin in the end um, and I definitely needed to spritz water because it was so hot that my glue dried super fast. Uh, but obviously, if you don't need to mix your glue with water because you're not living in some sort of crazy subtropical temperature, then you should be just fine with just using glue or Mod Podge. So here I'm just um, adding my uh, glue mixture under and over decoupaging basically the napkin to the plastic bag. So this is the next day and the napkin uh, is nice and dry and really quite sturdy and between the glue, the napkin and the plastic itself it's, uh, it's become really good. So what I need to do now is just trim the edges and because I'm going to be sewing this in the middle I need to also open up the other side of my um, plastic bag and add some sort of closure to it so that I can use both sides as pouches. So here I'm just using my ruler and my rotary cutter to trim off some of the excess around the edges and to cut off um, a slip 
of the plastic in order to open up the other side. So now that I've trimmed off both sides and everything is open, so here you can see there's the zipper side that still seals properly, and this is the side that I've sliced open. Um, I decided to use Velcro. I had some Velcro still that I had gotten in a sewing kit I found secondhand on Facebook Marketplace, and it was full of beautiful vintage stuff, and I have no idea how old this Velcro is, but it still sticks. So I decided that the other closure was going to have a Velcro closure. So here I decided to trim it to size. And at first I thought I would be able to glue it in and then be able to sew it. Um, I tried using PVA glue and then, uh, and it didn't work. And then I tried to use uh, Fabri-Tac 3-in-1, Beacon 3-in-1, and that didn't work either. So in the end, I had to just take the sewing machine and sew each side individually after pinning it. Um, probably because of the plastic, it just would not stick with glue. So if you decide to use Velcro as your closure like I did, I would recommend just going straight to sewing um, because you'll save yourself a lot of time. So while I let that pouch dry and attempted multiple times, I decided to trim the main part of the kit, again using my rotary cutting tool. Obviously you can use scissors, you can do whatever you want. And just to give it some extra strength and avoid any peeling, uh, any plastic that didn't quite seal, um, I decided to sew around the border of the entire um, of the entire kit, and so I just took it to my sewing machine and uh, just sewed around it with a couple rounds of simple, straight, messy stitch. Um, I wasn't too fussed about how it would look. It's just a little travel kit, anyway. So now everything has been sewn and I had sewn in the um, Velcro on my little middle piece and my zip lock was working nicely. It's time to add this to the kit. So basically I'm going to add it as if it was a signature. So folding it in half, sticking it in the middle and I just clipped it to the size using an extra large paper clip that I had in order and some clamps in order to keep it uh, steady and then I just sewed a straight stitch right through the middle of the plastic bag and the spine of my little travel kit. So the next step I decided to take after I had sewn everything in was to keep the pocket only on one side so that I would then have more space to put tools on the other side. So because I hadn't sewn that one closed because I already had that idea in mind, I simply trimmed off the plastic <clears throat> piece from the bottom and just near the signature, uh, the middle, sorry, and then that piece is going to be reused to make the closure for my kit. So seeing that the plastic was coming off, I decided obviously that I had to sew that and I wanted to use some snap fasteners that were also in that vintage sewing kit um, to use that as a closure. So I took the um, flap to my sewing machine to sew it closed and to sew it on to my kit and then I <clears throat> cut a piece of elastic that I was going to use and hand sewed that one in and I attached obviously the uh, flap closure to the kit with the sewing machine again. Um, I hand sewed the elastic because in the end I thought it would probably be faster and that way I could adjust it as I went along. So I hand sewed in the snaps as well and pretty much that was it for the kit. So this is the more or less finished kit 
Um, you can see the sewing I did for the snaps, but it doesn't bother me. It's just a travel kit. Obviously, you could cover it up if you wanted to. But here I have my two pouches and I have all my things here. I'm just testing with some random bits that I have and it closes. <clears throat> so this is more or less how I made it. Obviously, you can make yours in any way you can. And if you're still with me and you want to know what I put into it, um, I'll be showing you that next. All right, here is the packed kit ready to go. Um, I'm glad I made some extra space uh, to be able to extend it. I've managed to tuck my little travel journal into the pocket, but again, probably I will then be using it to tuck some papers or whatever I find it. In my little Velcro pocket, I have put my travel set of watercolor paints with the water brush that I found at Value Village in Canada for $3.99. And they were brand new. It was a great find. Um, in the second side, I have just put a few bits. We're going to be going uh, just locally on holiday. So eraser, sharpener, some washi tape to stick things in, and a small ruler uh, stolen from my children, as we do. I have also put in some paper clips so that I can clip in any extra bits uh, into my journal so that I can keep everything in one place. Um, in the back pocket area, I have packed my small set of travel scissors. Uh, if you are traveling and using an airplane, just be careful with anything sharp. Uh, pack it in maybe in your suitcase rather than your carry-on. Um, here I've added a few fine liners in different thicknesses, a normal clicky pen for writing notes into my travel journal, a regular old pencil, and three charcoal pencils in three different colors, black, brown, and white. And then, of course, trusty glue stick, um, just to temporarily glue things into my journal, and then if I need to, I can use more stronger glue when I get back, as well as a couple alligator clips in order to maybe keep any, you never know, what you might need when you're traveling. So I really hope that this has inspired you to make your own little kit. Um, I've seen people using uh, makeup cases, travel kits, or whatever. I couldn't find any um, like that near me, so I, and I wasn't going to buy a new one, so I just decided to make one with what I had. Um, I hope this inspires you to give it a try and recycle and make something that maybe it won't last me 20 years, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine for a couple trips, and it was fun to experiment and figure it out. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you are traveling, uh, at any point during this period. I hope you have a great time and thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button if you enjoy getting more content. Thanks so much. Happy crafting everybody. Bye bye.